This week, three popular YouTube stars interviewed the president as a follow-up to the State of the Union. And now, the mainstream media has their chance to react. If you've been watching our program for any amount of time, you know that when they get this chance, they're not buying this whole YouTube thing. So first up, we've got uh, Howard Kurtz speaking with Megyn Kelly on Fox News. And this is what they thought of one particular interviewer. But look, Glozell is a star. She's funny. Uh, she probably have her own Netflix show by next week. But when did eating milk and cereal out of your bathtub become an audition to interview the president of the United States? Now, I, Megan, I'm not some old media curmudgeon saying you know Obama shouldn't go on Ellen or The View or Colbert. He's got a good sense of humor. That's a political asset. But there's, it just seemed beneath the dignity of the office to be hanging out with some of these YouTubers. Yeah, no, no. I, I think you actually might be that. No, you, might, yeah. you might be. Yeah. yeah. As long does, does as he, I, I'm just as long as I'm going to list a number of television programs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Does he yeah. know that? Yeah. And does he also know that Elizabeth Hasselbeck was on one of those programs? He's like, ah, I would have insulted that five years ago. Mr. But now T it's okay. sat on the first lady's lap. I mean, <laughs> you know, the, I she, she sat on his lap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she sat on his lap yeah, beneath the office, right? The beneath the office. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right? Yeah, no, no. I, these TV guys, I like that they're touchy. They're, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They're like, I mean, come on. We yeah. accepted other kinds of television programs. <laughs> right. Now you want us to go to YouTube that's yeah. kicking our ass? Right. You were no asking way. us to accept non-news programs, and we fought you, but we've given. We've given. <laughs> you can go on the gay ladies program and dance. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, now, the, the fact that he seems a little bit jealous of these YouTube stars becomes clearer in this second clip. There was um, uh, Hank Green thanking him for Obamacare. There was Bethany Moda saying her an his answers were awesome, asking him what superpower he would like to have, and also taking the selfie. So maybe this is how the president wants the White House, House press corps to act around him. I mean, this was scheduled as the first interview two days after the State of the Union. Now, the State of the Union is a serious policy speech, and this looked like Obama was just going to the uh, D-list Hollywood after party. And if he was serious about getting some of these proposals in the speech, the tax hike on the rich, the spending programs, free community college, through Congress, he'd be working the mainstream media. Hey, that, <laughs> right, right there he shows that he doesn't understand anything about YouTube because, or Hollywood, because Hollywood treats YouTube stars, the biggest stars, way worse than they treat <laughs> D-list yeah. holiday stars. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, it's, I, I love this. I mean, if he was serious, he'd go to the mainstream media, please, I do declare. Yeah. He could <laughs> talk to Hannity and have a serious discussion about policy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you think your conversation, we were watching Fox afterwards. We think the conversation they had on Fox afterwards, I watched ABC. That was not a serious conversation in any way. And by the way, the two of the people on the ABC panel, uh, uh, Matthew Dowd and Nicole Wallace, you know, I mean, they just... Picked it apart. They're Republicans. That's their job, and that's right. what they did. But there was no serious, sober conversation in any way, shape, or form. I, I didn't watch what the YouTubers did. If he's correctly saying, I mean, you don't need to tell the president his questions were awesome. Yeah. You know, I mean, may, they may have blown it. I don't know. You know, it's an opportunity. I would love someone to have challenged him. On some, and with so some, many young Americans. So when's the president going to go on with Howard Kurtz? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I really want to know what Howard Kurtz thinks about right. community colleges. I mean, this yeah. guy who's missed, I mean, uh, this, Howard Kurtz, I mean, I think I'm probably, you know what, I might be blowing my opportunity to come back on Howard Kurtz's show, but I mean, uh -huh. there's nobody I think less qualified to talk about the media in America than Howard Kurtz because he's literally proven that he's not up to the job. Somebody else might be worse, but they haven't proven it yet. <laughs> right. I know Howard Kurtz can't do this gig. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, you know, we're a little bit in the middle of, uh, on this issue because when it was first announced that they were going to do these YouTube interviews with President Obama, of course we're happy about that. We, you know, we, we're the largest news show on YouTube. We're happy to see YouTube doing well and, and getting an opportunity to talk to the president, right? Now, of course, we also wish that there's a thousand great programs on YouTube that are related to news, not just us. That they, out of the three, that they would have had someone that does news more regularly, right? Yeah. So not taking anything away from the people who went there, and a lot of them are really smart and certainly very, very successful, right? But it would have been nice to have an, a better mix so that the Howard Kurtzes of the world did, don't get to go around and say, oh, please, everybody on took YouTube's got green lipstick. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. uh, so I think YouTube had a better opportunity to that, but but it's probably because the White House didn't want. I mean, you, look, I'm you not know, let's just keep it real. They yeah. didn't want hard questions, no. so they're like, I don't think I want, you know, whether it's TYT or about anybody in our network, Kyle Kalinsky, Sam Cedar, I mean, you name it. Yeah. No, not no, really. I, I, I suspect that you came up. There's a good chance. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think Obama discussed you. You uh -huh. know, but I'm sure that in in going over this. 
they were probably, or maybe it was just in the beginning, oh, we're not going with any of those lefty YouTube places that hammer us from the left. We're just right. not, that's not, that's not an issue. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're not going with the overwhelming number one news program on YouTube. Right, right, but anyway, right. yeah. so, uh, okay. But overall, it's still better, right? Look, it's also hilarious that the mainstream media, oh, they took a selfie with the president, right? Look, first of all, they're not there as journalists, right? That's not the program right. Bethany Moda does, and right? I'm sure YouTube told and them right. to take the selfie. Yeah, and, and so that's all fun. There's no, no, nothing wrong with that. Ellen might have taken a selfie with them too, right? right. So. But then CNN, now this is Fox News, I know, the, the clips we showed, but CNN has Jake Carney has, uh, on their <laughs> staff. He was the mouthpiece for Obama. Yeah. That's what they yeah. call the White House spokesperson, the mouthpiece for the president. So, I mean, you want to talk about high-fiving him and taking a selfie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the guy was a spokesperson. So I don't think you get to make that criticism. And the reason these people take a selfie is because they don't have their own photographers. Brian Williams goes in and interviews <laughs> the president. Yeah, and right. He gets a picture, yeah. but it's not a selfie. It's a... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and I like the superpower question, by the way. It's yeah. a fun question. Yeah. Yeah. What, was the, what was the question? Like, if you got what any superpower, superpower. Uh, oh, what would it oh, I was thinking actual. Yeah, and he obviously didn't put much thought into it because one of his answers was that flying thing. Really? <laughs> we got planes for that. You got Air Force One. I'd pick a different yeah. superpower. What about the veto? <laughs> yeah. He also said uh, the ability to speak any language. I would which is that's very not Obama bad. thing. Yeah. I would pick. Yeah. Uh, so that you can then compromise in those languages. I would. Uh, I would pick uh, the bionic woman's ability to to hear miles and miles away and through steel walls, but only if she moved her wispy blonde hair away from her ear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here is uh, Ronan Fair on MSNBC. So a lot of people may be wondering why were these three young people picked? So I, I think, Jose, there's actually a fair argument that the White House needs these YouTube personalities more than the YouTube personalities need the imprimatur of the White House. I mean, these three people collectively have 13 million regular subscribers. Uh, Glozell's most popular video of her eating cinnamon out of a ladle, go watch it, everyone at home, racked up more than 42 million views, Jose. Uh, that's not the kind of viewership you get in TV anymore. Okay, think about this. So he mentioned the 42 million. That's just from one video of Glozell, right? Um, the State of the Union on television combined, all the channels combined, was 31.7 million. Right. So her one video, had 10 million more views than the president's State of the Union on all of television. Beneath yeah. him. It was beneath him. Yeah. <laughs> and to yeah, be fair, she brought up the war on drugs, which she did not yeah. in that video. And, and by the way, good substantive sure. questions, though, yeah. like yeah. about marijuana like as well. Yeah, and, Hank Green bringing up marijuana, Glozell bringing up uh, tension between uh, police and the African American communities with a, with a very personal story about her own husband. The White husband. House had to know those questions were coming, easier to answer those questions with that. Yeah. with those questioners than it is to do it uh, in another form. Right, but at the same time, they don't often get those type of questions from the regular press. No, they so, don't. Yeah. So it's good to get a variety. Right. And, and even if you just call those guys strictly entertainment, they're a significant force in, in today's entertainment. Yeah. So yeah, that's what you do. You go on The Tonight Show, and yeah. after you know that had its run for the last 70 years, then you go on to the new format, right. which has all the audience.